Hi guys, so when I got the canvas print for the gateway to the Cotswolds that you've seen me um, paint over, well at the same time I had that printed, 18 by 24 inch canvas print, I had the uh, honeymoon tree printed as well on canvas 18 by 24 and again that looked a mess. Both of them was a mess, and uh, but I got my money back, so I'm not complaining. And uh, with this one as well, I'm going to embellish this one. So here it is. You see the shine when I tilt it on the eye spots, like I explained on the uh, gateway to the Cotswolds. The laminate only hits the high spots of the canvas, the low spots doesn't hit so it creates a speckled shine all over and then I don't know whether you see as I'm tilting it the patches in the sky it's just really bad and the details not focused it's come out dark those rocks look like a dark brown not gray and the sand looks orange instead of the sort of pale beige almost white sand but yeah, it's really patchy. It's a bad print. And uh, you can see, oh, I'm just turning it over. On the back there it says easycanvasprints.com. That's where I got it from. I've got this and, and then they have some cheap hanger on the back there. Just presses in like a staple. All right, so I'm going to start embellishing this one. So I'm going to put it on the easel, clamp it in place, and I'm going to start with the sky, like I did with the gateway to the Cotswolds. I'm going to work my way down, put a layer, of block a layer of painting all over, and then the second layer, I'm blocking all the detail work. So guys, I'm going to now work on the clouds now that I've coloured all the sky area in. And um, I'm just going to use some straight titanium white mixed with some um, liquid impasto. A little bit of thinner. And all I want to do is I don't want to put it on thick, I just want to get a, in areas, fainted cloud effect. So I'm taking the excess off my brush, just dabbing it onto some kitchen roll, and then I'm going to apply Want to get the illusion of fading clouds in the distance. Some areas will be brighter, and then some areas just sort of peter out, blend out.
All right guys, so that's the first layer on the water. Yeah, some of that printed detail has disappeared, but I'm not concerned about that. I just want to get the right tone set down on the water, the uh, blocking the tones in. Next level, I can put the white foam in of the waves and the uh, darker areas, the shadows in the water and the highlights in the water. But I just wanted to get the tone here there'll be a lot of foam, so this will get lighter in this area where the water meets the land, gets close to the rocky area. But I'm happy with the tones that I've put down on top of that print. So the sky's done, clouds are done, blocked in, water's blocked in. And uh, I could actually start on the tree now, up to here, or just do the whole tree and then do the rocks but I think I'd prefer to do the rocks because when I'm doing the rocks I don't want to go over the tree so yeah I'll do the rocks and this mid-ground grass and foliage detail I'll concentrate on that and then I can do the tree on top of that but I think you can see how it's coming to life now this print that looked atrocious now it's got a layer of paint all over the sky, the clouds and the water. So alright, next stage, I'm going to lower the camera again so you can see this mid-ground area while I do that. So I'll see you in a minute. So guys, I'm starting on the rocks now. I've mixed some different shades of greys, brownish grey colours. And when I put these onto this painting you can see just how dark the print was. Because the colour I'm using now is a lot closer to the original photograph. That's why I was kind of annoyed when I got the print. Yeah, and the uh, the colours I'm using now are closer to the actual, the original painting that was a um, commissioned painting. So I'm just going to go over all these rocks.
So guys, I've got the sky blocked in, the clouds blocked in, the ocean blocked in, the rocks blocked in. Not, not done the detail, obviously this is just the first level, first stage. And I'm uh, going to now zoom into the tree. I'm going to start adding leaves, blocking in all the leaves on top of this print. So we're just going to zoom in. And I'm going to begin. So I'm just going to use a straight sap green straight from the bottle mixed with liquid impasto. And uh, see how that looks. If I need to change the tone, I will. I'll add some cad yellow or browns or blues just to change the values. Morning guys, um, so I'm back to this um, painting over a printed canvas to create a real painting basically. The, the printed canvas acts as my drawing. It's canvas with a print on it, but instead of doing a sketch and a underpainting, that printed canvas acts as the underpainting. So I'm still working on the first layer there. We've done the first layer of the sky, the clouds, the ocean, the rocks. I'm going to now move into this foliage area over it. And uh, we've done the tree leaves as well. So let's move on with doing some of this foliage. I'm just going to mix some colours now. And, uh, Is that better? Yeah, that's a lot better. I just took an overhead filter off the light. It was 
was uh, just filtering too much light out. All right, here we go. Let's get some color down. I'm gonna mix some cad yellow with a touch of um, sap green, just a small amount, and a touch of white. Pale yellowy green colour. Just start that first background area. Now I'm going to stick in some um, Windsor and Newton impasto just to volumize it. Yeah, that liquid in pasta, it's like a volumizer. You know, when women put volumizer in there, make it thick, well, that's kind of what in pasta does with your oil paint. So I started working on shadows over this edge, over here, in this area, and I'm going to continue working on those shadows.
Right guys, so I've finished working on the right side of the foliage, the grass blocking in the grass, the bright tone, mid-tone, bright tone, and it's in the sunlight, and some of those shadows. Now I'm going to come onto this side of the painting, I'm going to block in the sand on here, looking through the screen lens at the video lens on the camera. The picture looks how it's supposed to look. Nice beige light tones because it's a tropical beach in Hawaii but when you look at the print it's oranges, dark oranges and light oranges and browns and just looks nasty. So um, I'm going to block over that now with the first layer and then on the second layer we'll add all the detail, the pebbles and stones. So yeah I'm going to mix some white with a champagne, just put a spot of champagne oil colour and mix those two tones together with just the tiniest touch of brown and maybe a bit of yellow just to create a very pale sandy almost white in places where the sun's really hitting it um, tones and then I'll come down to the bottom and do this area of the grass that hasn't been done yet and then I'll move to the tree trunks branches and then this area around the bottom of the tree the, the mud, the stones, the leaves alright let's press it on enough in on that area so the rocks are blocked all the sky the clouds the rocks the tree leaves the sand all the grass and all the foliage on the right side is now blocked in so all I've got left to block in is all the tree trunks and branches and then the dirt around the tree and all the leaves so I'm going to block all those in now and then when that's done oh and I've got this little mud groove here that comes down here I've got to block that in so when I block that in and that in level one is done all the blocking in we'll let it dry and then we'll move to stage two doing the second layer of paint on the sky and the water and adding all the detail, blocking in all the detail and the final stage will just be tidying up detail, putting all the fine detail work in so let's start mixing the colour for the tree trunk and branches I 
Alright guys, I've mixed a couple of tones of brown green with a hint of green and I'm going to start blocking in all the branches on this tree and then I'll add some white to tone it down where we've got the brighter colours where the sun's it in the uh, branches so I'm going to start with a darker tone in these shaded areas branches they're blocked in again this is just the first layer blocking in and the second layer I'll be putting on detail contrasts and highlights low lights now I've done the tree trunks and the branches we're going to move down just going to drop the camera down and we're going to concentrate in this area around the base of the tree, this mud and all these leaves, rocks. So guys, I think that's enough blocking in now. I've covered every square inch of this canvas print with paint now. Looks a whole lot better and a whole lot different. All the tones are correct now to the photograph. So I'm a lot happier. So I'm calling stage one, level one, blocking in, done. And I've zoomed out so you can see the old painting now with the stage one blocking in complete. Alright, so if you've stuck with it this long guys, really appreciate it. Thanks for following along. And uh, if you're not subscribed and you've come across this video, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. Um, I only have 41 subscribers at the moment. I'd like to get to 1,000 because once you hit 1,000 subscribers, you start getting commission revenue from YouTube for the commercials that they put onto your videos and uh, it's not a lot if you're only getting a thousand views a week you might make five hundred dollars a year 
Um, but the people that are getting millions of views, they're making hundreds of thousands a year. They're getting million plus, few million on every video they make. Um, but $500 a year, pays for my oil paints, pays for canvases, mixing mediums and cleaning products. So, guys, you'd be helping a starving artist out. <laughs> All right. Enough waffling guys, thanks for following up to the end of level 1, I'll see you at stage 2 where I start blocking in detail. Cheers for now and have a good weekend, bye.